in this video we will discuss about the logo soft comfort and how to do the simulation first open the software go to search and type logo so now click on open now we will create new project for that go to file go to new and you can create function block diagram ladder diagram udf diagram first we will discuss about the function block diagram so click on it a new project is created if you see on the top these are the menu options file edit format view tools window help next these are the toolbars okay if you see these are the icons for creating the new project open project close project print you can start the hardware plc you can stop the plc you can download the program to the plc by clicking this icon or you can retrieve the program from the plc by using this icon and this is the help icon okay these are the programming uh, related toolbar you can find all the instructions here and also on the left side if you see these are the instructions which are available for the logo plc okay remember this is version 8.4 if you go back to the older versions some instructions may not be available okay so these are the main instructions the first one is constants expand this one under constants there are digital analog and network okay mainly we will use digital and analog under digital if you see these are input cursor key logo td means this is logo hmi we are not using this shift register bits low status high status output etc under analog analog input analog output etc go to basic functions expand this one you can find the basic logic gates and or not nand xor etc and you go to special functions here if you see under timers on delay timer off delay timer wiping relay random generator stairway lighting switch weekly timer yearly timer stopwatch etc we will discuss about all these instructions and their working principles we will program using each instruction and we will download these programs into the real plc and we will test the logic similarly counters up down counter hourly counter etc analog blocks like comparator amplifier watchdog analog ramp analog filter minimum maximum etc and some other instructions we will discuss about all these instructions in the upcoming videos with simple examples first we will see how to do the simulation in the upcoming videos i may probably use the online test mode instead of simulation because i am having the plc hardware with me so instead of using the simulation i will download the created logic into the plc and we will test the logic using the physical hardware if you don't have the plc with you no problem just use the simulation first what i will do i will take one input and one output and then we will do the simulation so i will take one input you select this block here and place this cursor here click one time the block is created the input block is created if you see one input channel number is assigned to this block when the block is created 
the channel name is i1 input i1 is assigned by default if you create one more input block then the next available channel will be created say i'll click on it one more time so another input is created and the channel name is i2 and means digital input 2 okay let's suppose we do not want to use i2 if you want to change the channel to i4 then double click on this block the properties window will open here first tab is parameter here you can see one filter click on this you can find all the available inputs here okay just select i4 click ok so we selected i4 instead of i2 okay you can take any available channel any available digital input so i am deleting this one select and press delete key okay so this is my i1 and i want to assign one comment for this input either double click on this one or right click go to block properties and go to comment and write the description okay which instrument is connected to this input or what is the purpose of this input let's suppose this is a limit switch okay just type limit switch and okay the comment is created the comments are very important and these are very helpful during troubleshooting or maintenance time these take some time during the program creation but these are recommended these are very helpful okay now i will take one output and under digital output is there select the output click on this white area this is the programming interface area okay the output is created you just place the cursor here on the input you see the blue box is appeared that means now if you click and drag the wire will come place this at the output block and leave it that's it the connection is made between the input and output now double click on the output q1 this is the property window for the q1 similarly you can change the output number from this option q1 q2 q4 you can use the required digital output go to command and type the description for the output also suppose it's a lamp type lamp and click ok select the arrow so blocks will not be created now we will do the simulation for this to start the simulation go to tools and select simulation you can press f3 also or go to tools and select simulation click on it see one window appeared at the bottom how many inputs we have one input that is why one in one input is appeared and how many outputs are there one output that is why one bulb is appeared here one lamp okay you can start to stop or pause the simulation using these buttons this is the start or resume stop pause and you can change the date and time if you are using some weekly timers yearly timers or the functions which works based on the time or date then this will be helpful okay so if you see in logo soft comfort by default the blue color indicates logic zero i'll activate the switch 
just click on this i1 click on this switch input is on output is also on okay the input status is directly went to the output the output is on light is on the logic one status is indicated by red color see input is in red color output is also in red color if i will turn off the input output also will turn off click on the input so logic 0 is indicated by blue color logic 1 is indicated by red color remember that you can also make the input on and off by clicking on the respective input block now i will click on this input block i1 one time see what happens input is on again if i click on input i1 input is off it will change the state with every click one time i will click on again i will click off like that okay either you can click on the respect to input block or you can use these switches in the simulation window let's suppose i want to change the input functionality input switch functionality this is the switch either on or off toggle switch okay I don't want toggle switch. I want to use a push button. Then there is an option for us. Just right click on the I1, go to block properties, go to simulation. See momentary push button, make momentary push button break. Okay, I will select the second one momentary push button make. Click OK. See, the switch is changed. Instead of toggle switch, now push button appeared. Which push button we selected? Momentary push button make contact type. That means if you press the push button, the contact will be made. Okay. It is like normally open contact. Now switch is a normally open contact. If you press the switch, the state will change to close. So at that time, the lamp will be on. Now what I will do, I will click on this push button and I will hold it like that. See what happens? The input is on, the output is also on. Now actually I'm holding the click. Now I will remove the hold. What happens? The push button is again off it went to the normally open content that is why the output is off just click on this arrow on the top the simulation is stopped okay now what i will do i will take one more input and one more output so take the input and take the output Again, join, double click on the input and add some comment. This is my limit switch two. Okay. And this is my limit switch one. So this is my lamp one. This is my lamp two. Okay, now again go to the simulation, go to tools and select simulation. See, the I1 is push button, make contact, I2 is toggle switch. Okay, if you click on the push button I1, the input is on. If you leave it again, the input is off. So the lamp one is also off. The second one is I2 is a toggle switch. Click on it. The input is input I2 is on. Lamp 
output Q2 is also on. If you select input I1 push button, the input to I1 is also on, the output is also on, output one. Now what we will do, we can change the switch functionality online. There is no need to go to offline. Okay, just right click on the I2, go to block properties. I want to use it as push button and break content. That means the default state is normally closed. That means by default, the output will be on. Whenever we will press the push button, the contact will be breaked and that means it will be opened. That means output will be off. We will check that. Click OK. The I2, by default, I'm not pressing on the I2, but uh, the default state is closed. That is why the I2 is on. So the lamp is on. If I clicked on the I2, that means I'm pressing the push button. So I am breaking the contact. That means the contact will be open. So the output lamp will be off. Lamp 2 will be off. See? I deleted the input I2. I will connect the same I1 with the. So whenever the input I1 is on, both outputs lamp 1, lamp 2 will be on. So go to simulation, go to simulation. Input I1 is on, both outputs Q1, Q2 are on. Change the input type to switch on, input on. Both outputs are on. Okay. So this is how we will do the simulation. We can also simulate the analog values. I will show you the analog values, just like how to do the simulation. Take one analog input. AI1, go to simulation. See, click on the analog input I1 block. This is a slider. By using this slider, you can simulate the analog value. By default, the range is 0 to 1000 inside the PLC. We have to use offset and gain settings to change this range, like 0 to 100, 0 to 500, like that. We will discuss the calculation and how to use the analog input functionality in the upcoming videos. Okay, this is how we can simulate the analog also, analog input. We can simulate from here also, you can, you can uh, enter the, some value here and press OK, the 500 is entered. Okay, or click on this and slider is appeared you can use the slider also. Either you can change the analog value from this simulation window or click on the respect to analog input and you can change the value. So this is how we can do the simulation for the inputs and outputs. In the upcoming videos, we will discuss how to download the program to the PLC and how to upload the program okay and then we will do understand the online testing of the plc this is a simulation online testing is different online testing means we will take the parameters directly from the plc 